Christy with the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you this beautiful home. Now, this is, I know you can't see anything with the refrigerator. I just wanted to give you a little teaser. This is a Victorian by Destiny Homes. Beautiful, beautiful home. We are getting ready to tour this home, you guys. I can't wait to show you this home. This home is amazing. It's a four bedroom, two bath. This home is 30, it's kind of loud outside. This home is 32 by 80, okay? And it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna pull the door up. This is the lot model. Well, I'm out here at Cordell Homes, Custom Homes of Cordell, okay? This is actually a lot model, it's under contract. If you're interested in this home, you would have to order it, okay? Let's turn you around and show you this beautiful home. All right, this is the Victorian, you guys. The Victorian, Victorian. It is a destiny home. It's four bedrooms, two bath. Let's see if I can walk around and show you what it looks like from the back. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get in. Don't worry about that home. I'm gonna go in that one next. So you'll get to see all the homes out here at Custom Homes of Cordell. But let's look at the Victorian. This is the back of the home. Let's get in a place where you can see it. So this is the back of the home. Love the some of the windows in this home. This is gonna be a nice tour. I'm super, super excited to share this home with you. Look at those two arch windows. We got a transom window right here. Can't wait to show you what's on the other side of these windows. So let's go ahead and see what this home looks like. The Victorian, this model, is uh the siding is in the color clay but what i like about it is the di the difference in textures here i love this white in the middle the home is basically clay but it's trimmed in white i think that's batten wood i'm not really sure it might be just siding made a little different again i don't sell these homes you guys i tore them because i love touring these homes so if I say something wrong or if I'm not particularly sure, please forgive me. I'm out here because I love touring these homes. Love that they got the dormers here. Gives it a little character. But you guys can come to see. Look at all the transom windows. Beautiful. You, you guys can come to see the outside of this home for the next 20 minutes. You want to see the inside. So let's go on in. Now this one isn't dressed. She looks like she was just put together. So she is not trimmed out, but she's beautiful nonetheless. So this is what you see when you come in. I'm gonna spin around and show you the living room. That's the door that we just came in, the front door. You've got two transom windows above though. The two windows in the living room bringing in a lot of light. Love the fact that there is, it's finished drywall. Venter in the ceiling, ceiling fan, all the things that you guys can see. All right, so you've got the upgraded vinyl flooring in here. Really nice. All of this is your living room space. All of this from the door over is your living room space. Now, from the living room, you've got your kitchen right here, and you've got your dining room next to the living room. So let's look at the dining room first. I love the fact that it, they've got these posts to give it kind of a separation, but it's not completely built up. You see that? You can see over to the tray ceiling. You could put like garland up there. You could put decor up there. You could just make it your own space. There is a chandelier in here. There's a tray ceiling in the dining room really lovely you've also got a continuation of the transom 
windows in this dining room and two additional windows in this dining room. Really lovely. Really lovely. You got this feature wall. I could see a big, beautiful painting or some really nice decor in there. I'm really impressed though with all the lighting that's coming into this into this space. So really lovely. Beautiful. Now, over into the kitchen, you've got this huge island. Even though the sink is in the island, you still got lots of space in this huge island. Lots of space. You've got outlets in this island to use your appliances. Lots of counter space and cabinets. You've got your ceramic top stove. Now this, uh, these appliances are stainless steel and black. You've got your ceramic top stove over there, but you've also got a second stove over here. So you've got a second, you've got a second oven over here and a microwave. Really lovely. Really, really nice. You've got this huge Sub-Zero refrigerator. This is the refrigerator side. And then you've got the freezer side. Really nice. Love all the pantry space. You've got cutouts up there and all of these cabinets. Really lovely. I'm always impressed with these corner cabinets and you've got one in each corner. Beautiful. This kitchen is beautiful, you guys. This kitchen is absolutely beautiful. Now they have the pendant lighting, but they don't have it hanging low. That's for the because they have to move this home. But those those uh, pendant light that pendant lighting does come down lower. And if you choose for it to be higher, you could. But I I think it looks nice when it's lower. So really nice. Now through this way past the dining room are the additional rooms. Now you also have this bonus room here. So you've got a living room, but you've also got this bonus room. Now I, I hate to put labels on the bonus rooms because you can certainly do with it what you want, right? This could be a family room, a den, a craft room, an office. It could, it could be, it could be another bedroom. It could be whatever you want it to be, but it's always nice to have this bonus room. And just like the living room and the dining room, you've got these two big windows and you've got transom windows in here. So really lovely. Now off of this bonus room, this first room right here is an additional bedroom. So this is, we'll call this bedroom number one. You've got a, a cattle corner closet right there. So you got a standard closet there. It's cattle corner, but it's standard. And then all of this is your bedroom. All right. So all of this is bedroom. All of that is bedroom. Next to this bedroom is your laundry room. Nice space for a laundry room. You've got a sink in this laundry room, which is always nice. You've got room for your washer and dryer. You've also got space for a deep freezer. So that's always a plus. And there's your back door. This is your additional bed, bathroom, double sinks, really nice, really, really nice. This one also is two rooms. So your toilet, tub and shower are in this area and this window actually opens. So really lovely. That's your additional bed bathroom for this side of the house. 
additional bedroom number two. Got your closet right there, a little, maybe these are walk-in closets, I don't know. I think the other one threw me for a loop because it had a wall that separated it, but we'll call them walk-ins. So that's bedroom number two. And this is your additional bedroom number three. and it's walk-in closet. And each bedroom I come in, the closet gets a little bigger. This is the biggest one. All right, so this is your additional bedroom. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and give you another view of your bonus room and point out the additional rooms, you got a bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, laundry room, bedroom. And then that's the hallway to the dining room, living room, and kitchen. So that's what this side of the house looks like. Really nice space in here. Light and bright, lots of natural light, really lovely. This is perfect for a large family. Really lovely. On this side of the house is your master. Super nice. Super nice. Two large windows in here. Really lovely. So this is a different view. Your master closet. You have a master closet inside the master. This is what the master closet looks like. Not a really large room. I was expecting it to be a little bigger, but it would be enough for me. Definitely a nice size, just not as large as I thought it would be with the size of the house. So let's go see what, what else we have in the master. Really nice. Not taken away from the house. I love this house, you guys. So, You've got double doors that lead into, they're not up, but double doors will lead into the master bath. When you enter the master bath, you're facing the double sinks. You have all of this space here, this large window, super nice. To the right, that's your uh, deep soaker tub. You've got two windows that open two windows that open over the tub and then you've got all of this linen closet space here really nice you've got tray ceiling let's see if i can you got tray ceiling in here that also has the can lighting really nice and then again that's the soaker tub and then to the left of the sinks You've got additional storage and a makeup table. Ooh, really nice. Really nice separation of space. You've got your toilet room here, a window that opens. You've got the largest shower I've ever seen <laughs> in a, a modular home. This is beautiful. This is, look how much space you can lay down in here, you guys. I kid you not. Me and my husband can lay in here, okay? This is the shower. This is the shower, okay? <laughs> really nice. This is huge. You've got two shower heads, a regular shower head and the rain shower shower head. Large transom windows, so you got a lot of light coming in here. Love the tile the real tile in this shower and all of this space to take a shower and you got a bench. Both of us could sit on that bench and shower. This is beautiful. Really, really nice. And now I feel better about the closet situation 
because on this side, you've got a his and her shower in this, I mean, closet in this master. So one would be his and one would be hers. Really nice. Really nice. So nice. And then, of course, you come back around. So just so you really get the visual, when you enter your master, you can go left or right. So I'm going to go right this time. This is the shower. And you've also got storage here. You've on either side. I'm sorry, not the shower, the tub. You've also got storage on either side, right? Then when you pass the tub, you've got the additional closet. All right. Remember, it's one in the bedroom and one in the bathroom. Next to the closet, you've got the super huge, fun shower. Walk past your shower. You've got your toilet room. Really lovely. Walk past the toilet room. You've got your makeup table. And then on around, you're back at the sink. So that's what this bathroom, this bathroom would sell me. This bathroom, it would sell me. So this is really beautiful. Love this home. Again, this is the Victorian by Destiny Homes. Now, set up this, the price that I'm getting ready to give you is for delivery and setup within a 50 mile radius. Any trim out, the steps that lead to the front and back doors, Vinyl siding, if you don't want brick, if you do, it's additional. The AC unit and appliances. This price does not include furniture like the previous home that you saw before. Um, and this lot model, as is, is $193,000. Beautiful. Really beautiful. If you're interested in pricing, questions about pricing, specifications, Anything having to do with this home, I i don't work here. I tour these homes because I love touring these homes. So if you're interested, you have any additional questions, check the description box below and be sure to let them know that the Mobile Home Diva sent you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.